just as we are speaking this evening as the First day of the Africa CEO Forum is continuing in Abidjan, the Ivorian commercial capital. A Boa Cement, Boa Group, which is Nigeria's second cement uh, maker, has secured uh, a $500 million deal with the International uh, Finance Corporation, the IFC, which is the private sector lending arm of the World Bank Group for that half a billion dollars facility to produce green cement in northern Nigeria. That's just breaking news coming through from Rotu Suderi Arise uh, Business, Global Business Support, show anchor and our correspondent on the, on the ground in Abidjan reporting just a few minutes ago that Boa Group has signed $500 million deal with the International Finance Corporation to produce uh, green cement in northern <clears throat> Nigeria. This is the first day of the two-day Africa CEO Forum taking place in Cote d'Ivoire as an annual meeting. So the deputy uh, on the silence of that today, the deputy CEO of the Lagos Free Trade Zone, uh, Tejasui Avi, uh, spoke to Arise News and said Nigeria has the potential to replicate private sector-led free trade zones similar to Lagos. But that potential faces the hurdle of not all states having access to a deep seaport like Lagos. He also spoke about the importance of the Africa CEO Forum and the importance of free trade zones to Africa's economic uh, development. Now, now we we'll go live to Abidjan, where uh, Rotu Sudiri is wrapping up today's uh, courting razor on the two-day Africa CEO Forum. Uh, Rice Business Correspondent, it is good to have you. Rotu, uh, you're sure with this very big interview, so I'm going to allow you uh, running. That's uh, uh, Rabiu, uh, Abdul Rabi, who's just signed $500 million deal with the IFC. Uh, that's half a billion US dollars Nigeria can use in foreign direct investment. Let me allow you to hit the ground with uh, Alaji Rabiu with this interview. Yes, Boston, I know this is an exclusive and the show is just ending. We only have a few minutes to go, but yes, we just convinced Chairman of Boa Group, uh, Alhaji uh, um, uh, Abdul Samad Rabiu, to speak to us about this landmark deal. Please speak to, speak to Nigeria and the world about what you've just signed and what it means. Thank you so very much. Uh, we just signed a $500 million facility with IFC and other DFIs, you know, for the expansion of our cement project in Sokoto, northern part of Nigeria. So it's... Uh, it's, it's an exciting day for us, you know. This uh, has been going on for about a year, but finally today we signed, and we're really very excited. And what, what does this mean, I guess, in terms of the uh, using green cement, the, um, the environmental impact of this in, in northern Nigeria? Yes, it is important because to start with, uh, Sokoto State is why we have these plants, and Boa Cement is the largest cement producer in the northern part of Nigeria. You know, we have two plants there. We are going to have a third one and a fourth one. By the time we are doing it, to be 8 million tons. So what it does is that with these additional lines that we'll be having, we'll be able to export cement to, you know, Burkina Faso and to Niger. And again, you had, you know, one of the uh, DFIs mentioned that they looked at it, you know, to ensure that this is going to be all green. And it is in the sense that we are not going to be using a lot. We are not going to be using fossils at all. It's going to be you know, uh, gas, you know, that we're transporting from Patakot, you know, a mini LNG plant. And that is the reason why they decided to actually support this project. I'm very excited, you know, simply because one, it gives us the opportunity, you know, to expand our, you know, our production lines. Number two, in the northern part of the country, we are the only cement producers that have a capacity of more than a million tons. By the time we are done, as I said, we are, will be having about 8 million tons. So look at, you know, what that does. What that does is that Somebody buying cement in Sokoto State is going to be paying the same price, or in, in fact, they are paying the same price as those that are those plants that are in Lagos or Port Harcourt or Calabar. So it is a huge deal, which ordinarily, if you don't have these plants, it would be costing you maybe additional 1,000 to 1,500 tons each bag just for the transportation. So it is, you know, a positive impact. If you look at Sokoto and you look at the area, you will know that. You know, these plants, you know, the impact is huge, it's positive because you empower the communities, you empower, you know, the, the, the area, you create jobs, you know, thousands of jobs, you create wealth for your shareholders in the process. So it is really an exciting day. And I'm really glad because as I keep saying, for a company to be able to get a $500 million facility from RFC is a validation. And uh, this to me is very, very important. That goes to show that we are a responsible business you know, uh, company, you know, organization. And we are going to ensure that we do whatever it takes to make sure that we know we deliver.
Chairman Rabiu, congratulations on the deal. We thank you so much for speaking to our Rise News and Roll. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. Boston, there you have his breaking news. We got to be quick on the draw. I know we had other stuff to talk about, but there you just had no, the is, chairman is, of the board. No, you bring, you bring, massive, Rotus, massive deal. Rotus, you, you bring dollars. 500 you million dollars to the table, Rochus. I give you all the whole time. And I'm going to ask Prince of Ibuna to give you the whole time. If you bring 500 million dollars right now, put that on the table. I give you more airtime, my friend. If you've got 500 million dollars, that's a whole <laughs> lot of money we all can use both as a country. And we're talking about the whole story. But again, this is the first day, Roach is the first day of the session and Nigeria is raising the curtain. $500 million. Yeah. I'm not sure anybody else has got that much in any deal since today started. Bring me up to speed. Not at all, Boston. This is the biggest deal that has been announced. Again, we're on our way to another uh, session where we just got pulled in and they said, you have to come here right now. This is a landmark deal um, with, with, with the company. So there's massive ramifications. Boston, also the job creator numbers that BOA is going to be bringing to the northern parts of the region with this deal. So it is huge in terms of what it means for the environment, what it means for the signal it sends. We have a new administration that's trying to bring in more um, funds into the country. Job creation, the environment, it's a, it's a massive deal. And Boston, as you said, I mean, half a billion dollars, that is a lot of money. So it's really big news. It's the I, biggest I, news it's of really, this. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's really it's, big uh, news. I think it's your forum so far. I know, I know. But of course, we're going to talk about your session tomorrow, about the $1 billion revenue. We'll talk about that tomorrow. That's your session, which you had earlier. Thank you yes, so indeed. much, Rotus. Well, let's yes, talk about indeed. that tomorrow. Thank you so much, Rotus. Today, our Global Business Report show anchor, boots on the ground. In Cotabon.